Today we're going to demonstrate uh, the vulnerabilities of people using Wi-Fi on their security systems and how easy it is to deauthenticate uh, devices on an access point. So first of all I'm going to show we have our ring set up and so it's the doorbell version so right now this is the live feed of the ring and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up using this Kali Linux laptop to send the authentication laptop uh, uh, packets to the access point this ring camera is connected to. And what this will end up doing is it'll end up jamming um, the connection of this ring camera to the internet and to the access point itself from getting out and showing us um, the live feed and even being storing the video up to the uh, cloud. So first of all, we're going to want to we're going to be using um, a tool called Aircrack NG. And that basically allows us to do all kinds of cool stuff with Wi-Fi. Um, you can do a lot more than what we're showing you today. Um, so if you want, so first off, you're going to take your, uh, you're going to you're going to want to find your network interface, which would be in this case WLAN zero. And so in order to find that, you're going to type in if uh, iw config. If I can, this keyboard's really bad. All right, so in this. You're going to see how it says WLAN 0. That stands for wireless LAN. And since we only have one of them, it's going to assign it to 0. If we had multiple of one of them, you know, if we had one plugged in an external one, it would be WLAN 1, WLAN 2, and etc. So we're going to put this um, this network card into um, where it says you want to see, make sure it's into um, mo uh, monitor mode and not managed mode. So in order to do that, you're going to type uh, one second. You're going to first of all, you're going to bring down the um, uh, the network interface by typing uh, if config wlan zero down. That's going to bring it to a, a disabled state. And now, in order to change it to a monitor mode, you're going to type in iw config wlan zero mode monitor alright and then you're going to bring it back up there you go and now to make sure that it changed to um, managed mode or monitor mode you're going to type in iwconfig and if you check mode it's going to say monitor now alright so after that, you're going to type in, um, you're going to use air dump. And what that does is it will show all the access points and all the devices that you can connect to. Sort of like what it's like when you uh, connect to Wi-Fi on your phone. Um, so right here, this is going to show all the access points around your uh, laptop. And in this example, we're gonna wanna use um, the, let me stop it from scanning real quick. You're gonna use a uh, Costa D. Smith uh, or whatever, this is basically the um, SSID name that the network broadcasts. So obviously it's not gonna be Costa uh, D. Smith on, um, you know, wherever you're at, it's gonna be, you know, whatever uh, access point you're trying to attack or whatever access point you want to send the auth packets to. The BS, uh, BSSID is the actual MAC address of all the access points. So what you're going to do then is you're going to copy the MAC address of the access point you want to send um, these packets to, which in this case would be the authentication packets. So after that, you're going to, and you're also going to note the channel. So right here, um, this access point is running on channel 6. So you're in the next command you want to type is um, this basically is telling uh, Aircrack NG to target this access point and basically you're connecting to this access point and it's going to show you all the clients that are going to connect uh, that are connected to that access point after we type this command which is arrow dump dash ng you're going to do the channel and the channel number, and then the BSS ID, and then you're going to paste the BSS ID, which in this case is the MAC address, and 
you're I forgot one thing. You want to type in W the um, interface you want to use. So WLAN zero after that. So after you give it some time, right now there's two clients connected. Station is the clients that are connected. Frames are the amount of packets that are coming through the network that you are detecting. Um, so this is basically sets your adapter to target that access point now. So now we want to minimize this, open up a new terminal, and now we're going to send the deauthentication packets to this access point. So in order to do that, we're going to use um, the error replay command. And what this does is it says the type of packet, so dash zero is going to be uh, saying you want to send a deauthentication packet. Then you can list how many, uh, you know, packet, uh, the authentication packets you want to send. In our case, we want to do just an unlimited amount of time. So zero for unlimited amount of time. It's just going to keep going. Um, dash A is going to be the access point itself. So the actual um, MAC address of the access point you want to do. And what's optional is you can do a dash C for a, like a client. And then you could also just say only target this client. But in this case, we're just going to do every single client on that network and we're going to just stop every single device that's connected to that access point from you know connecting so you just want to leave it at a and then wlan the network interface you want to use and in about 20 seconds the ring doorbell will be um disconnected because right now it's uh it's always lagging a couple seconds behind so if you give it a little bit it'll be disconnected from Wi-Fi. And every device that's connected to this Wi-Fi network will be disconnected. And as soon as we stop it, yep, see, you can barely go through. There's no video, there's no nothing. It's just gonna keep timing out. And so if we cancel this out, it will resume. And so the the takeaway of this video of this kind of attack that we uh, that we're demonstrating is if you have the option to go wired to run an Ethernet cable even if it might be more inconvenient, it's a lot more secure and you don't have to worry about this kind of attacks and other kinds of attacks using Wi-Fi.